Hello guys, welcome to Warframe for Noobs. This is a new series that I'm starting on my channel, basically introducing all the new players of Warframe into the game in a smooth way. I've seen a lot of different videos on YouTube, and to be quite honest with you, there is really no direction in terms of a new player when they want to get to a certain subject or a certain topic. So this series is mainly aimed towards the people that are getting into Warframe, but they really don't want to spend hours on the wiki looking things up, asking their clan mates a hundred questions. So the goal with this series is to make quick, simple videos of different topics within Warframe and make things as easy as possible for everybody to understand. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like on it as it's my first ever Warframe video and I'm kind of nervous about it, but hey, this is going to be the first episode of getting started in Warframe. So when you start off into Warframe, you are going to have the choice of three different characters. You have Excalibur, you have Mag, and you have Volt. Now they all do different things in terms of abilities and where they're going to get you into the game. A lot of new players like to opt for Excalibur because swords go burr and swords are just cool to be quite honest with you. And honestly, if you guys have already done the tutorial, you've already done all the missions that start you off, skip to this timestamp in the top left. You don't have to listen to all of this. But if you just want to download the game and you want to make a choice of which character to start off with, I will 100% recommend Volt just because his abilities are going to take you pretty far and they're pretty versatile once you get to learn a lot about him. Excalibur is great, but you're going to get bored of him rather quickly. Mag is a little bit of an AoE character and lacks when it comes to some bosses early on, but Volt is just that mix of a little bit of everything in my opinion, so we're going to start off now and choose Volt. Now just so everything is clarified here, last time I started Warframe was probably five years ago so this is all kind of new to me but we're gonna go through it together and get you guys started you know what we're gonna go for the big old stick just because i like big old sticks don't take that out of context please and to be quite honest with you there's going to be different variants of weapons that are basically in the same class so you're gonna have your staffs you're gonna have your one-handed melees your dual-handed melees you're gonna have your great swords your kunais your throwing knives throwing weapons all the kind of sorts and basically, this is just a good introduction to new players showing you how to use said weapons. So if you did skip to the timestamp that I labeled on the video, you are now done with the tutorial and you are now on the screen and you are on your first daily tribute. Now, daily tributes reset every 24 hours. If you log into Warframe, you will be presented with this screen and you will get a random reward. Now, rewards do have different days. So when you hit 100 days, you get to choose from three special rewards, 200 days, 300 days, and so on. But you do want to log in as much as possible each day. It is not required. You do not need to log in every single day in a row. But you should be trying to get your daily tributes so you can get these free rewards every day. And sometimes you even get boosters to double your XP gain, double your resource drops. Or you sometimes get coupons on the premium currency. But quite honestly, I don't think it's worth buying the premium currency. I will be making a video on the series with all that kind of stuff in the future. But for the day one, we did get a Telerium, which is actually pretty nice because this is a later resource that we will need. Now, I don't want to spoil a bunch of this dialogue, but if you are on PC, I do not know if this is a console thing as well. But if it is, make sure you guys check. Click on your start button or escape. Head over to options and head over to your display tab. If you go over here and turn your field of view all the way up, I do believe this is going to give you a lot better of an experience. It's not going to be such a zoomed in camera and you're going to be able to see a lot of things a lot better. Alongside that, if you go to interface and you go to your HUD and scroll down a little bit, you will see HUD scale. Turn that up to your liking because I personally believe the HUD is a little too small early on because if, if you look here, let me turn this all the way down, your HUD just seems so itty bitty bitty tiny. Your text box in the bottom is really tiny and it's just really hard to see things when you're in game and you're trying to learn all the new abilities of all your Warframes. Just some little tidbits that you guys should do if you want to catch on to things a little bit faster. But you will be guided around your ship to install all these new segments and basically when you're done with all of this is when the tutorial ends. But once you do all of this, you're going to be installing your arsenal. Your arsenal is going to be where you customize everything about your Warframe. This is going to be your main hub in this game regardless if you just started or if you're 3000 hours into this game. This is where you can see your loadouts, everything about your Warframe, your primary weapon, your secondary weapon, and your melee. Alongside your Parazon, which is basically your hacking device to get into control panels, hacking certain corpus technologies, and all that kind of fun stuff. But 
this is where you're going to be modding weapons. This is where you're going to be changing the appearance of some of your Warframes, changing the colors to your liking. You do start off with a few free colors here, a little bit of a classic look with all these different basic colors. And yeah, that's where you're going to be modding everything, adding cool attachments, and making your Warframe look cooler. But at the same time, this is where you're going to be equipping mods and all that kind of stuff to do more damage and make your guns do different elements and cool stuff. Now over here is your navigation system. Now your navigation system is very important because this is how you do missions. This is how you progress in the game and this is how you get certain resources that you need. I will have a whole video talking about the whole star chart separately, but let's get into what we need to do at the current moment. As you can see, we have a quest in the top right called Vor's Prize. It will take us to the node, and if you don't know what a node is, basically all these little diamonds on these different planets, these are what you call nodes, and these are all different missions, all different tile sets, all different enemies, with bunches of different resources on different maps. As you can see over on Mercury, we have Morphix, Ferrite, Polymer Bundles, but if you go to somewhere like Uranus, you have Gallium, Plastids, and some planets do share similar resources. But there is some resources specific to certain planets, like Demos is one of the few planets that actually drops Orican cells. Let's get into the mission at hand. You just go over to your active quest, you click on the quest, and it will take you to the node, and it will tell you to restore ship comms. Now early on, you are going to be seeing these weird containers alongside. These are what you call resource formations. You can see it right above the resource itself, and when you break these, you get the corresponding resource basically delivered to you in in your inventory but you also want to be breaking these grenier crates early on because they will be giving you credits different resources and alongside these lockers they will also give you different resources sometimes they will give you ammo experience all that kind of fun stuff just some things that you should be doing early on in the game and this is where our parazon comes into play when we want to hack things hack doors hack enemies all that kind of stuff you will need your parazon and you'll need to hit the keys and boom you solve the cipher now, I'm not good at spy missions, but we have to do one, so uh, let's hope I could do this. God, I'm going to embarrass myself doing the first spy mission in the game and still failing it. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that was kind of close, but you know, everything went fine. Alright, easy as that, you finish hacking, and I'll meet you guys back on the ship. Alright, now after that mission, we could unlock the very holy grail of all things Warframe, which is the market. Now, this marketplace will always be located here on your ship, and this is where you can buy deluxe skins, deluxe things, and this is where you could buy Warframe's a premium currency, which I do not recommend, but the option is there for you guys that do want to spend money to progress in the game. But everything you could obtain in the game, you can get for free. Anything in the game is free. The only things that will always cost money is what we call the Tenogen, which is basically community-created cosmetics that are only buyable. But other than that, every other cosmetic and every other skin is completely able to be obtained for free. So let's install this market segment and finally unlock it. And there you go. There is the markets. You have a plethora of different things that you guys can purchase here. And you can see everything is asking for this platinum currency. Now platinum, you start off with 50 for free. But platinum is earned in various ways, which I will go through in a different video. That video will probably be up eventually. You guys can see in the description below. But you can see you have different categories. You could buy Warframes themselves. You could buy weapons. But to be quite honest with you guys, the only reason I would come to the market is to buy the blueprints for said weapons. So when you click on something and you want to purchase it or purchase a blueprint for credits, that's what I would recommend you do it for. To be quite honest with you, anything else that you buy with Platinum in this store is a complete scam. It is not worth your money. It's not worth it. Just put the time in. Put in the few hours of getting these things for free. You'll thank me in the long run when you could use your Platinum for cool capes and cool armor sets because that's really what Platinum is important for, am I right? Now once you rescue Darvo from a spy mission, you will now gain the mod module, which will basically install a segment into your orbiter, which allows you to view all of your weapon mods, Warframe mods, Prime mods, Rivens, all that kind of stuff that you could apply to all of your gear within the arsenal, and you could upgrade mods, sell them, or even combine them for a chance at random mods. Now we do have our foundry segments, and the foundry is going to be basically where you build everything in this game. This is where you're going to be building your new warframes, crafting new parts for your warframes, and crafting new weapons. So let's install that segment now.
Now everything in your foundry does require resources, and as you can see the resources are listed right below the item, and that's where the star chart comes back into play. So you can get those said resources from said planets, it will guide you within the first mission to get the certain resources, and that's what we're going to be doing now. And a cool little pro tip, if you're having troubles with Captain Vor, just jump up in the air and ground slam everything. For some reason early on in the game, this just does a crap ton of damage and makes this fight really, really easy. So now once you basically do everything tutorial wise, you'll be granted with the Vor's prize quest completed. And this is basically where the game stops holding your hand and tells you to do everything on your own. You do get a nice little message from Lotus telling you things that basically I've already said, but in a very complicated way but that is how you guys are going to be getting started on warframe and now i want to let you guys continue your own story continue your own path learn everything about all these junctions all these things are the self-explanatory stuff once you guys are comfortable with all of this i am going to be releasing more guides these guys are going to be more advanced and they're going to be more mindful in terms of the important things you're going to need in your warframe journey but this is a part of the game where you guys enjoy it you guys enjoy the storyline you enjoy progressing and you come to my future videos for any help you guys need along the way i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did it would mean a lot if you leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel so you know when i post more videos in this series I do want to mention I am actually a Borderlands 3 YouTuber, and this is just a series I've been wanting to do because I love Warframe, but I do feel like it kind of leaves its new players in the dark. So a lot of people that do thoroughly enjoy this game are just sat there asking a million questions, don't know what to do, and sometimes they can't find the help they need, and that's what this series is for. So showing a lot of love on this video really means a lot. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.